Tonight at Hancock County Junior High School is already having a large group of students in quarantine and today is just the second day of school. This precaution comes after the health department notified Greenfield Central Schools that a student tested positive for COVID-19. RTV 6's Nicole Griffin is talking with both parents and the superintendent about what's next. Just hours after students returned home from class on the very first day of school here at Greenfield Central Junior High School, parents received this email notifying them that a student has tested positive for the coronavirus. The district now says they have enacted their positive COVID-19 test protocol. Why would you send your child to school knowing that you're waiting for this result? Parents with children who attend Greenfield Central Junior High School are frustrated and concerned. So, of course, in my mind, I'm thinking, here we go. Monica Ogle's daughter just started seventh grade on Thursday. Honestly, I was just waiting for the phone call, but I never received one. So hopefully that means that everything's good. Superintendent Dr. Harold Olin says contact tracing has now started and a large group of students that were in close contact with the student are in quarantine for 14 days. It's certainly unfortunate for those families that were contacted last night. They had this excitement about being back for the first day of school. That very night, getting a phone call saying your child's going to need to stay home for two weeks. Disappointing, yes. The word that you asked me about, yeah, I'm disappointed. Dr. Olin says the focus now is on educating parents of expectations. If a pending test is out there, uh, we think that parents would not send their students to us until that was clear. The guidelines state if your kid is running a fever or have symptoms, you keep your kid home. So. That's common sense. Parents are being asked to self-monitor their children. If they have any symptoms or a fever above 99.5, keep them at home. Working for you in Greenfield, Nicole Griffin, RTV6. The superintendent says that they have reduced one class period this year and have eliminated use of lockers. But keeping students in small groups at the junior high level isn't possible due to students moving from class to class. And that's why they have had to speak with several teachers in multiple classes and have asked those students to quarantine.